Welcome to Ad Talk with Mary. Today we have Zena Dakash with us, and we're really grateful and honored to have you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mary. Thank you. In 21st century education, when we said a learner, a learner is someone who has four very important skills of creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, and communication. And research shows that uh, four of these skills are already uh, put in practice through drama. So what do we mean when we say drama? When we say drama, drama, it means uh, using the techniques of theater, uh, whether it's improvisation, it's uh, role play, it's, uh, you know, it, it targets so many things like team building, self-confidence, creativity, all the things also that you said. And uh, anyone can benefit from drama. It's been proven since so long ago whether it's students, elderly, uh, adults, uh, you know, not just actors do benefit from this. So drama was, you know, as we all know, it was uh, not created, but the, its first start was in, uh, in Greece, the, the Greek theater, where, you know, people used to go there for three days in a row to watch one play, and catharsis used to happen, they say. What is catharsis when the audience you know, would feel something, they would have their feelings purified. And also uh, the, the, the actors are there acting, you know, getting their own catharsis in their own way. And uh, imagine if you are doing it also in schools, the, the student himself or the spectator watching the student, it's still catharsis. I love this word when you think about drama, catharsis. Yes, uh, and uh, we have seen a lot of schools already incorporated as one of the ways to teach, especially with online learning now. Teachers are somehow also becoming actors uh, to present the lessons in fine, nice ways and involving and maybe finding talent in students as well. Uh, what are some things that teachers can do in their class? For example, if, if they're teaching about the English language or any language, how can they do, what activities they can do? We, I've done once a study, I think it was like 10 years ago for, for certain uh, a network of schools in Lebanon. And they said, how can we incorporate uh, drama in every single thing in the curriculum, whether it's English, biology, math. And we found beautiful, creative ways. So I sat with the teachers and each of them, you know, during this workshop was like, okay, so let's imagine um, teaching them Okay, you said English. Mm, how would they do it? And they, they found ways. I don't know, for example, she took the chapter in English about the four seasons. Uh, so we went chapter by chapter. And she said, okay, if I have 20 students, I'm going to divide them into four groups. One group would be autumn. One group would be uh, spring. One group would be winter. One group would be uh, summer. And the students had to find a scene, you know, where they can portray the season and show it to the other groups. And she said, as soon as I did this, you know, at the end of the course, each of the students were like, I know it's autumn, I know it's spring. You know, it, there was an image in their head, not just, you know, in the book, watching it passively. They enacted the thing and became the thing in order to memorize the word and see what it is. This is one pure example. If we go to biology, it was also amazing. Um, the digestive system. So some students became the, how do you say them? Enzyme, you know, the small uh, creatures that, yeah. uh, you know, help food to be processed. Uh, other were the food, other were the uh, esophage, uh, you know, the whole thing here. Um, helping, uh, helping the food to come in and other... It was amazing. And you see the students applying this and they were like, I love biology. I love English now. I love. But the main problem was, you know, our schools and many schools around the world are the spaces never helped to do theater because, you know, you are in this room with at times 30 students. How do you manage? This was the main problem of the teacher. How do we manage in this classroom to find space for them to stand up, to run, to, you know, to do the, uh, 
uh, this uh, personage in the biology system, I don't know what, blah, blah, blah. This was a main issue. So we started adapting and perhaps the classroom should not be the real classroom. Perhaps we can give this class outside and mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, on the playground or somewhere else. Especially now these days uh, with the pandemic and safety issues, when we return back, I think it is uh, one of the activities that can be done outdoor in the playground sure. where children are more free to express. And uh, I believe they really need to do that because they've been staying at home for so long with just the uh, four walls and uh, not expressing, not talking, not playing, not moving, they're just sitting. So drama, I believe, will be one of the ways that they can really uh, tackle their own well-being other than the academics. Totally. I think it's, it's a huge need, especially for the communication skills. Huh? The students have been there for a whole year, not talking much other than to mom, dad, you know, sister, sibling. So uh, the communication skills became, oh, my God, like, hello. And OK, what should I say next? It's it's a it's a really huge problem for this generation. And what saddens uh, me, Mary, I heard that theater also in Lebanon, uh, like the the the, the theater uh, in, in the curriculum, the drama class. As many schools also said, okay, because you know it's an additional thing, it's a luxury. خلاص, let's stop it. We're not gonna do any more drama classes. It saddened me a lot because. If really the school principals or, you know, the decision maker in the school understand the benefit of drama, it's now that they need to do the drama class because now the, the, the students lack creativity, lack communication, lack team building, lack, lack all these. Very true. And uh, with the school that I'm working, what we did, we added and uh, we even added hours for these activities because yeah. we really understand as educators that uh, children in the 21st century, for them to be successful individuals and citizens, they need these skills in parallel to academics. Academics alone uh, will take them half the way, but for them to be able to do public speaking and they also learn public speaking and presentation skills through drama. And it's really one of the crucial things. Uh, if as parents, we want to know if our children have, for example, uh, talents in drama and uh, acting, how would we know as parents? I mean, if, I, if I'm the parent of a child who, you know, starts uh, putting some costumes, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, uh, taking mama's uh, eyeglasses, uh, putting them here and starting, I don't know, a song, or uh, enacting as if he's someone else from the personages he watches uh, on TV. I'm saying whatever, I am Peppa Pig mom today. We need to yeah. encourage them and play the other roles with them. And we say, oh, so if you are Peppa Pig, let's say, mm, I'll become Mama Pig. Oh, you are Mama Pig and you'll be acting and it can go on for hours, such a game, because they so much enjoy it. And it's in our, you know, in psychology, it's. It's in our development to try other roles, to become someone else, to play hide and seek. It's all in the imaginary, the hide and seek. Eh? So if we don't encourage this, how do, would we expect a next generation, uh, a generation of uh, beautiful adults, you know, smart, uh, who can have all the multiple intelligence, not just the IQ. I remember well when we studied at High Gazion, they taught us the multiple intelligence spectrums, which was the music intelligence, the street smart intelligence. Uh, all these also, if you look at them, they were eight kinds of intelligence. All these can be targeted to drama. And it's much more important than the normal, the, the regular IQ we always hear about. No, the IQ, uh, uh, it's not a reference anymore worldwide. Even with the companies, when they are hiring new employees, they are looking for, they are doing tests to evaluate and measure the EQ, the team leadership yeah. skills, the, how yeah. well kids can or employees can work with others, their, their team spirit, rather than just the academic and knowledge, because especially with the digital world, knowledge is already there and available. So it's the other skills that uh, we can help and add. Uh, here, I would also like to hear uh, your experience. I know you have very rich knowledge and experience. 
uh, and it really uh, spreads awareness. So can you tell us about uh, your experience, whether in psychology, in your other uh, teachings, and how really uh, the community is growing more to know what is drama and to see it in real life uh, rather than just uh, as a theory? So Mary, me, I, I come from, uh, my BA was theater. So I studied in my BA at university, acting, directing, you know, theater. And when I finished, I said, it's, it, there has to be something more to this. Where is psychology? I mean, because I saw how theater changed me, how the theater skills I learned also made me a more uh, talkative person. You know, I have this good eye contact. I, I, I am very aware of my body language. And I said, why don't I study psychology next, you know, to, 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 to see more what's in it. So I did my master's at Haigazian, where we met. And then I kept researching. I said, how can we make psychology and drama? And this is where I found on, uh, I, I was Googling and I found drama therapy. And drama therapy is, is a master's degree also in the States and Great Britain, where you would be a, a therapist, like a clinical psychologist, you are a therapist, but using the theater skills. I was so happy. I said, finally, my dream is coming through so I can mix both, you know. And what does it mean to become a drama therapist? You'll be working with really whoever, kids, adults, uh, a taxi driver, a refugee, a prisoner, uh, mothers, uh, women who suffer from domestic violence, students who are very shy and they don't know how to express. And I came back to Lebanon after studying in the States and I, I established the first Lebanese Center for Drama Therapy, which was called Catharsis, just like the word we said in the beginning. And we started offering services, whether in prisons, refugee camps for Palestinians or Syrians, doing training in NGOs and corporate. So we go to employees and we, we work with them on their public speaking, on the conflict resolution, role-playing scenes that they are afraid of that will, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, my boss calls me and I'm afraid he's gonna tell me, oh, you didn't do a good job. Okay, let's role rehearse. What if this happens? What will you say? Do you know how to talk about yourself? And it's like a miracle. You see people changing. You see, you see companies changing. You see the prison changing. You see laws changing. Because also in our work in prison, where we went and did drama therapy, it's been 13 years. So we do the therapy for the prisoners. And then they prepare a play, a theater play. And people come from outside and watch them inside prison. So you see the whole awareness of the people, they are like, oh my God, these are criminals, but look at them. They, they know how to speak now. They know they have reconsidered themselves. Uh, they can teach us a lot from their experience and judges and ministers were there, you know, and they were like, okay, there are some laws for human rights that we need to change in this country in order to give chance to these people to become better people. So this is really what I've been doing uh, in the past 15 years of my life. Plus I have a private clinic. So I am a drama therapist where individuals would come, you know, in transitions maybe in their lives in a, in a phase that is very difficult for them. Some are grieving, especially after what happened in Lebanon, you know, the Beirut blast. Some are parents who are not sure how to parent anymore their kids due to the COVID, due to many things. And they come for tips. How can I play more with my kid? Uh, how can I make him, you know, more self-aware uh, about uh, his uh, preciousness, his beautiful uh, soul? And see, you can target so many things by doing drama with uh, therapeutic objectives. So the, the objective is for it to be therapeutic for the people. It's really inspiring to hear all these because as human beings, we need this relationship and uh, all the basis of our relationships are uh, founded on uh, effective communication and self-expression. And uh, many times we see that relationships, institutions, corporations, schools, they are uh, harmed sometimes because the, the drama and the expression is not taken into consideration. 
So I think we can say today that it is really uh, an important part of everyone's life. It doesn't need to be in the school only or uh, uh, at home only. So it needs to be uh, around us. What would you advise now to someone who's watching us? Uh, as an individual who is, let's say, going through a pandemic and unsure of what's coming next and uh, doesn't know what to plan, how to plan, uh, what will happen next? What can you say to this person watching us? How drama would help him, for example? Yes. Mm. I would tell him, be sure that you have so many roles you didn't play yet. Because uh, the, the theory in, in drama therapy is, I am Zena, okay? But I play so many roles along my life. So let's say I am Zena the teacher, I am Zena the mother, but I am also Zena the, the angry woman at times, and I am Zena uh, the strategic one at times. I am Zena the calm person at times. So I am so many things. I, I will tell him really, go dig deeper where, wherever you are now in your life. And are you sure that in this phase, isn't perhaps the universe calling you to get out some roles inside you? I don't know, maybe the artistic side, uh, since it's a pandemic and you're, you know, sitting there alone and maybe you, the painter, maybe you, the, the, the reader, you know, the guy who would, you know, benefit from having more things, maybe fixing certain relations in your life during this uh, pandemic. I don't know, with my mother, with my father talking more, Whatever happens to us, life would be calling us to develop uh, sub roles. You know, we call them sub personalities and our personality. And I tell people really, you know, utmost, take care of your mental health because whatever is happening in Lebanon, not just the COVID, the economy, and many things, this is priority. Our mental health is a priority. The mental health of our kids is a priority. Now it's spring. This is what I can tell people. There is this beautiful sun. At least this is the only thing we can benefit beautifully in this country. Get out, go see nature, because nature also teaches us a lot about our own personalities, because we are at times like this tree in the summer, but at other times we are like the other tree in winter. We are, And look what nature is telling us. Look at the sea. What is it telling you, you know? And so if you need I mean, help, seek help. Never be, never say, oh, no, I, I'm not going to, you know, call a therapist or a counselor or whatever. No, you, you need to. You are a priority. It is a self-discovery journey. So and drama, drama can be our tool in this uh, journey to always put ourselves as priority because many times we're lost among all the other tasks, whether our professional life, uh, our career, our dreams, however, we lose ourselves among all this. So oh. it can be an opportunity for us uh, to seek uh, help when needed and to do the self-discovery journey and really find out the talents, the new dreams and the new roles that we can play in our upcoming years. Uh, thank thank you. you so much. I really appreciate that, uh, your time, your insights and your experience. Thank you, Mary, for your initiative. It's really, uh, it brings hope also in this uh, very difficult period. Huh? Thank you for your initiative. Thank you. Together as a community, we can make it through. And uh, together with each other, we support, even if it's uh, through pandemic, with safety measures that are really bringing us apart, drama uh, and education and psychology can bring us together and uh, we can make it through. So thank you so much. And uh, have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you, man.